estás empezando a armar tu equipo de prospección Outboy y no sabes qué estructura darle, si te conviene tercerizar o no, bueno, en este video entrevisto a Aaron Ross, quien es el autor de Predictable Revenue, un libro de eminencia en todo lo que tiene que ver con prospección Outbound, y él explica tres modelos para poder hacerlo. Te invito a verlo ahora. What would be the first steps to put together a sales prospecting team? So, first, the easiest way to do this, there's really two, uh, two there's really, well, it's called three options. Okay. The first option is we call scrappy. Okay. It's not ideal, but sometimes if you can't hire someone or transfer someone to do this full time, or you can't, you're really limited on time and money, scrappy, means you do this sort of part-time when you can, like an hour here or two hours there. And you're just doing enough to do some little tests to help you get some confidence in order to invest bigger. That's number one, do it. The other two ways would be you can outsource it to start. And uh, I know Andre does outsourcing. Our, part of our business is outsourcing. And just like anything else, there's some advantages and there's some disadvantages. The advantages to outsourcing are that it's simple, you don't need to hire, and it's uh, you can sort of start faster. The disadvantages are that they're not in your business, they just don't know your business as well as you do. And it can be more challenging to get results from someone who's not inside your company. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder, It just depends on how much of that internal expert knowledge does someone have to have to be successful. So my recommendation is if you do not want to hire someone yet, outsourcing can be a great way to start sort of bridge to get started to start learning. But most companies ultimately need to hire, you need to hire your own person. So the best thing you can do it, if you can do it is to transfer or hire at least one, you know, one person, Better too, but one person who could do prospecting full time, 100%. 100%. If they're doing 50%, it's just not gonna, you can learn a bit again, we call that that scrappy, but you're not gonna get great results. So your main goal is to how do you get one person in the company in outbound full time? If you can start there, fantastic. If you have to do some outsourcing for six months, 12 months first, Great, But that's how you start. I will say that ultimately what makes this work, because there's always ups and downs, challenges, is the commitment of leadership. If the CEO or leaders are committed to making outbound work, because it can take four to 12 months to start your program and get success out of it. So if you quit too soon, It's not, it's for sure not going to work, but the leadership has to be committed for that four, four to 12 months to see it through and you know, what it, what it, we'll go through the ups and downs of doing this. Bueno, espero que te haya servido el fragmento de esta charla. Si quieres ver la charla completa, ahora al final te va a aparecer un link para acceder. También te invito a que te suscribas a mi canal, Primera Reunión, donde vas a poder encontrar las diferentes entrevistas o diferentes charlas con profesionales eh, que están encarando procesos, eh, estructurando procesos de venta B2B. Eh, y a su vez, en mi sitio, primerareunión.com, también vas a poder encontrar más contenido, eh, incluyendo una charla, por ejemplo, con Aaron Ross, eh, el autor de Predicta del Rebel. Bueno, espero que te haya servido.